nanotechnological microbes, microscopic machines with the capacity to reproduce at a truly astonishing rate. Their origin is unknown, but they are man-made. The machine head virus is not indestructible. It can be destroyed. The evacuation of Montreal, Canada earlier this year and the subsequent detonation of the by everyone on the planet. Now sports, Jerry. My name is Kimberly Stride, Dr. Kimberly Stride. I've been engaged in research at MIT into the cause and effects of nanotechnological infestation when the virus struck. My assistant, Orville McArdle, Orville the Geek, and I found refuge in the isolation bunker deep beneath the Institute and set about discovering the ways and means necessary to destroy the machine head virus. We had located the source of the virus and built a vehicle, flippantly called the Volpo Blade, to transport a nuclear bomb into the blighted heart of the machine head. But we had a problem. To bring the Vorpal Blade to its full operational capacity required a sophisticated artificial intelligence. In short, a brain to guide it along the torturous and highly dangerous route to its goal. I had decided to upgrade the Institute's CPU with encoded sequences from my own brain patterns, and then implant this into the Vorpal Blaze operating system. But Orville had ideas of his own. I couldn't move, and my head hurt like hell. The geek had found us a brain all right. Unfortunately, it was mine. I had no choice. The bomb was primed and the geek had his finger on the auto destroy. There was nothing else I could do but ride that baby into the heart of the beast. Unfortunately, I can. Excellent! Okay, baby, before I give you directions to the machine head, there's a couple of things I need for you to do. Not far from your present position, you'll find a real cool train sitting pretty, just like yourself. <laughs> In a hangar, the train's carrying fuel that I need for you to take to some scientist friends of mine. Just a pretext, you understand. So as you can get into their bunker and find out what they're at regarding the machine head. I want you to release the train and await further instructions. It's only an itty bitty little thing, but it'll make me real happy. Little things please little minds, Orville. Oh, your wit surpasses your beauty, Dr. Strive. And your stupidity surpasses your grossness, scumbag.